What's up guys, welcome back. I hope you're doing well. I hope your life is great. I just finished the sixth day. Check it out. Jim Stepani's shortcut to shred. Let's go, baby. So I don't know if any of you guys are interested, but if you're looking to get shredded, that is a fantastic place to start. Six weeks, There is. it's six days on, one day off. Tomorrow's my day off. What an intent, I mean, I feel alive. I feel healthy. Fuck, it's been tough. An hour a day, grinding it out. If you want, jump on it. Jim Stepani, Shortcut the Shred. I'm done selling that. All right, let's get to the video. Guys, so what I want to talk to you about today is actually coming from the book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck by Mark Manson. A lot of the ideas in my head these days are are from this book. I've been listening to it for the past week now. Um, I think that a lot of you will like it and benefit from it. You can pick it up on Audible right now or find it at your bookstore. It's like an orange cover, so look for that. So in my life, whenever something hard arises, like I was saying, today was the sixth day, and I actually waited until after work to do this workout. I normally go in the morning. Now I'm getting out of work. You know, I'm, I'm kind of tired, long day, um, and my willpower is just drained. And I'm like, Elijah, you gotta go. You gotta finish the sixth day. Tomorrow you rest. And it just was like, fuck, you know? Where's the motivation to do it? Where's the motivation to get up and go to the gym? And I think it's like that, that formula at least, at least like motivation, then action, right? Motivation to do something, then action. Motivation to study for that test, and then action. Motivation or getting amped up to go talk to that girl, and then action to go, you know, go talk to her. A lot of the, the formula for action always begins with motivation at the very beginning. And a lot of times, guys, I mean, why I think that fails is because not a lot of times we have motivation. You know, one of the things I'm, I have no idea how to do, I actually failed computer class in high school. And, you know, recently, these last couple of years, I've gotten a little better, but I'm still, like, do you know what control shift T does? Go, go try that right now if you're on Google. Control Shift T, that's mind blowing shit, dude. It brings back a tab that you erase. Or you can like control and use the little scroller and you can zoom in. That's insane. I didn't know that shit, you know? There's a lot of stuff I don't know about computers, but one thing is like web design. I have zero clue how to do it, but I want to design a blog that I can put my videos on. You guys can, you know, maybe book reviews or something. And I have no idea how to do that. So you know what I do? I procrastinate. And I say I'm going to wait for another day to get motivation to sit my ass down and do the work. See, but the correct formula, what a lot of people aren't doing is action first, then the motivation. Motivation comes from making the right choices, from doing something. Once you step up to that plate and do something, even though you don't feel like it, you often get intrigued or you get lost in what you're doing. And the art of war, the war of art, sorry, by Stephen Pressfield, is like just, just sit down and do the work and then it'll come to you. Then, I mean, we know how to do stuff or we can learn how to do stuff. That's not the hard part. The hard part is sitting down, getting started. Action advances action. The motivation will follow and come next. And another thing I've been thinking about is disempowering beliefs. I mean, how many times do we get stuck thinking that I'm not good enough? And how many times does that hold us back from taking that first step, from making action in our lives? I mean, literally, guys, how many disempowering beliefs do you have? Are you saying, because maybe you think the group mentality of what all women think these days is, I'm too fucking short. No girl is going to find me attractive enough, right? How disempowering, how fucking miserable it must be to have that conviction in your mind or, or that I am not good looking enough or that I am not shredded enough or I'm not, you know, fucking my hair's not good enough. Fuck that, dude. How fucking miserable uh, and disempowering is that belief? When you walk around your daily life thinking that I am not good enough for the people, for the world around me. Fuck that, man. 
And it, oh God, that's a terrible place to be. And it holds us back. It holds us back from making moves, from getting ahead in life. Instead, you know what we do? We say, oh, fuck it, man. It's not, that's not how, they're, they're not gonna like me. Right, she's not gonna think I'm, I'm handsome enough, or I'm good looking enough, or I'm desirable enough, or my bank account's not big enough. Fuck that, man. Action advances action. I guarantee you, I know so many people that wait years of their life and they waste these years of their youth because they think they're not good enough. And then they don't do anything. They, get, they waste their time by video games, by just getting drunk or drugs. It's, it's such a wasted time because we never stepped up to the plate, we never took action, we never wanted to combat that social, social anxiety because we thought that we're just not good with people. That people are all fucking fucked up, everyone's fucked up, the world's all messed up. So we never take a chance, we never step up. Guys, but action will cure that. Doing what you fear will cure that. So, action, then motivation. I'll see you guys soon.